name is Bob Brochard. I'm Director of Technical Services and Research and Development for Access Ultrasound. Sure, that's a great question. <clears throat> Ultrasound probes, uh, by their very nature, since there's a cable and they're, they're kind of loose, uh, they are connected to the machine, but the sonographers are picking them up, using them on patients, uh, you know, consistently, daily. Uh, they're prone to getting damaged and uh, physical damage is one of the main areas of concern that clinical engineers have to be aware of uh, with uh, what we call general imaging probes and then your transesophageal probes are, are a whole nother uh, ball game in the fact that uh, they're disinfected in Sidex, uh, disinfection processes. In my career I've seen it widely vary from hospital to hospital and even within the hospital um, and so there's a lot of disinfection problems where people over soak them, um, bites, uh, patients bite through the uh, uh, transesophageal probe tube then it gets filled with Sidex and it damages the probe and of course any kind of physical damage uh, is generally uh, not covered under a warranty or contract even by the manufacturers and therefore the, the hospital is looking at expenditure. Sometimes that's several thousand dollars. Absolutely. Um, one of the things that I would recommend is to uh, first of all get to know the sonographers in the departments. In other words, the people who are actually using these probes daily. Um, ask some questions. See how they're using their probes. How do they handle them? Um, are they storing them when not in use properly? Um, um, are they making sure that the cabling is not tangled up and under the wheels of the ultrasound machine where they can get run over and cut? Um, they just need to, to really monitor how they're doing it and then make recommendations to, to care for that uh, better. I think on the transesophageal side, the big thing is to, um, again, see how they're disinfected, uh, are they using bite guards is a big one. That's where uh, patients uh, will bite through. And there's a, there's a misnomer that even from um, uh, the cardiologists and anesthesiologists think that if the patient's sedated and they put the transesophageal down their throat, <clears throat> they won't bite through it. But that's not true because our, our human bite reflux, or reflex is going to occur. So we find that most of the damage comes from not using a, a $2 bite guard. So I think uh, it's important to, to watch that. Uh, any disinfection process, uh, the general care, storage of the probes, and then the main thing for uh, clinical engineers is to do a periodic visuals inspection of the probes at any preventive maintenance they do, or really any time they have to repair a machine. It's just, just look and make sure that they're catching any minor problems before they become major.